first from your local election headquarters. The four leading Democrats vying to replace Congressman Jim Langevin in Congressional District 2 took the stage right here last night. Yeah, Kate Walsh is joining us live with what the topics were, the hot topics were, and where the candidates stand on them this morning. Kate? Well, guys, debates serve the purpose of showing voters where each candidate stands on an issue and how they differ from their opponents. As Democrats, the four candidates who qualified for last night's debate did have a lot in common. For example, this is when they were asked if they support or oppose a federal ban on assault style rifles. I would support a ban. Mr. Magaziner? Absolutely support. Ms. Morgenthau? I would support it. And Mr. Siegel? I would support it. Candidates Joy Fox, Seth Magaziner, Sarah Morgenthau, and David Siegel also agreed on other issues like supporting the proposed Reproductive Freedom for All Act, which would protect a woman's right for abortion on the federal level. All agreed that college is expensive, but they differed slightly on if the Biden administration for giving $10,000 in loans was the right way to help Americans. I absolutely support what the president did, and I would go even a bit further. I've said that I would go at least to $50,000 for most people in line with Elizabeth Warren's plan. I would have tackled it in a different way. Um, the way I would have gone after it is uh, lowering interest rates. And I was particularly pleased to see the support of students who are receiving Pell Grants. There is more we have to do to make uh, education affordable. I am pleased that the president uh, made this decision uh, to do loan forgiveness. I think it is an, is an, is an important uh, start. Now, Omar Ba and Spencer Dickinson are also on the ballot as candidates, but didn't qualify for last night's debate. The winner of the Democratic primary on September 13th will go up against Republican Alan Fung in the general election, most likely. Live in the studio, I'm Kate Walsh, 12 News. 12 News, your local election headquarters. Top four Democratic candidates running to replace Congressman Jim Langevin in the Congressional District 2 race, squaring off in our studio last night. Kate Walsh is with us this morning with more on how the candidates were trying to distinguish themselves from the other last night, Kate. Well, that's the challenge in the last less than two weeks to go until the primary election. As Democrats, the candidates all have a great deal in common when it comes to big issues like banning assault rifles and what the federal government's role should be in helping students with their loan debt. Well, the candidates took the stage last night and they were Joy Fox, Seth Magaziner, Sarah Morgenthau, and David Siegel. Two other Democratic candidates, Omar Ba and Spencer Dickinson, will be listed on the ballot but didn't qualify for last night's debate. Now, a debate serves the purpose of helping undecided voters see where each candidate stands on an issue and what sets them apart from others. When asked last night if they support the proposed Reproductive Freedom for All Act, the candidates all said they did support more federal protection for women's rights, such as to an abortion and other parts of the health care system. We've heard from the Republican, the likely Republican opponent in this race, Alan Fung, that he would leave it up to states. We are already seeing that state by state action in this issue on this issue is absolutely disastrous and life threatening. If uh, Alan Fung and Kevin McCarthy and the Republicans take control of Congress, we know that the Republicans in Congress are going to try to pass a national abortion ban that would override the state level protections that so many of us fought for. This is why I think that we have an opportunity to send the first Democratic woman to Congress from Rhode Island. We need a fresh perspective. We need a woman's perspective. And I would follow the lead of groups like Planned Parenthood and understand you know, their analysis of the politics of the moment and figure out if we can push further or not. Now, as you heard, some tried to show how they differ from Alan Fung, who is the likely Republican opponent in this race to the winner of the Democratic primary on September 13th. Live in the studio, I'm Kate Walsh, 12 News.